Hey everyone, Wayne here. Today we're going to do something a little different. We are going to play Lock and Load Tactical Digital. So, just to start off, this is my first um, streaming or recording of a digital game here. So hopefully this works well. Um, you guys can let me know what you think of it. Check it out, uh, give it a chance. If you don't like it, that's alright, I'm still going to do mostly regular, you know, war games and everything, but, uh, or, you know, paper ones, but... I didn't want to do this one, this game just came out, and I wanted to go ahead and get um, kind of a video done of it. So Lock and Load Tactical, um, for those who don't know, um, is obviously a tactical based system um, covering different eras. This Lock and Load Tactical Digital just came out. Um, I have zero or maybe 0.1% experience with Lock and Load Tactical. What that means is that I have only played the, um, basically the starter kit played a little bit. I didn't even play like a full scenario, I don't think. Got the starter kit, pushed around some counters, that was it. Um, the system is definitely fairly in-depth, and I just didn't really have kind of a time, energy, whatever to get into it. Uh, seemed like a good system, love the component quality, all that good stuff, but I just didn't have the time for it. Now when I heard this was coming, I figured I want to check it out. Um, now David Heath of Lock and Load Publishing said, hey, you have to know the rules. And sh shout out to David, I've talked, I have talked to him, he's a really good guy, but he, sh he said you have to know the rules Lock on Tactical to play Lock and Load Tactical Digital. So, let's see if that's actually true or not. So I have, now I'll, I'll be honest, I do have um, 58 minutes experience on Lock and Load Tactical Digital. Basically means I've ran through two of the starter kit whatever it is, base set scenarios, which let's go ahead and start a new game and look. Um, I apologize for the long intro here, but like I said, this is my first time doing this, so I just want to kind of explain a few things. Uh, so here it is, Lock and Load Tactical Starter Kit. has four modules, two World War II, and then I believe these are two, uh, yep, Vietnam War. Um, and then I have purchased already the different expansion packs, battle packs, I forget exactly what they're called, but it adds a ton more scenarios. Each one, you can see, adds a ton of scenarios. Um, so even with just a starter kit, which I think, I don't know if it's still on sale right now, I think it got for five or six bucks. Um, gets you started, you get four scenarios to play. So you can play human versus human, or you can play one side could be the uh, computer. So let's go ahead, um, let's dive right in. Again, I don't really know the rules. I've, I've played it 58 minutes. I've played both World War II scenarios, um, I think once each. Let's go ahead and just dive in and see what it's like and see if we can learn together. So, alright, starter kit. We're going to go ahead and start at the very beginning. Using the starter kit, the scenario, first scenario, rejoining the regiment. Joining the regiment, France, June 6, 1944. During the initial hours of the Allied invasion, widely scattered German forces confusedly rushed to consolidate and defend key positions. They often encountered advancing Allied troops or airborne, unit, airborne units along the way. Often these German troops weren't German at all, but Russians and other POWs pressed into military service. In this scenario, the fleeing remnants of an infantry platoon of the 795th Ops Battalion must break through a roadblock set up by a detachment of the 506 PIR to join their pair regiment before American reinforcements arrive. Five-turn scenario, Germans have the initiative on turn one. Um, victory conditions, the German player must exit at least two full squad equivalents and one leader from Hex 8, H8, Henry 8, by the end of turn five. Any other result is an American victory. Alright, so we're going to do, I'll be the Americans, uh, we'll have the computer be Germans, scenario balance as designed, scenario length as designed, fog of war, none, um, let's see what's play, dive right in. Alright, All right, so I know, I've watched a couple of the tutorial videos, you can, you know, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, uh, things like that, scroll around. Actually, the map, I really like how the map looks. That's great artwork. I know that's basically the regular map. Um, super cool. Alright, so, setup. Um, American setup. So, I believe. Yep. This would be guys here. Oops. Don't want that. Alright, so this is all of our American forces for the whole scenario. Um, these guys down here. Zoom in a little bit. We got our leader, Corporal Medro, a hero. Medro, hero. Put it that way. Oops. Oh, here. Okay. All right. 
Al Silver. All right. U.S. won her first airborne, Corporal Medrow. Airborne Herd. Uh, any relation to Blackwell Herd of Black Mode Potion? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Uh, airborne Half Squad. Full Squad. Do it like that. There we go. A mouse over on here. Okay. Again, this is a learning game, guys. So if this is annoying, you're like, I know exactly how to do this. Then sc scroll to the battle part. Just skip ahead on the little timeline on the bottom when you're watching the video. Just click ahead until you see some fighting. All right. Um. So we got a half squad, full squad, right? And then full squad. And then we have a couple uh, machine gun and mobile when deployed. Okay. So I, I learned this the first one. I deployed it, quote unquote, deployed it in the middle of the road, and then it was stuck there. So. Alright, so let's do. I guess we'll do. Okay, yep, so it's this full squad with a bar, B A R. Uh, we'll go ahead and deploy them here. Uh, then, let's see. The half squad with the machine gun. That's what I want, though. Yep, so here we have our half squad with the machine gun, which mobile once deployed, so once it's there, it's there. Or should I put it up there? No, I think this is a good spot for it. And then these guys. We can only deploy in these hexes here, so we'll leave it there. Alright, I think we're good for deployment. Initiative, Germans, Operations phase. Oh, here they come. We had this uh Okay, so he's in the light woods. German half squad, yep. So Alright, and then if I check, let's see, F one. Okay, that's the so those different hotkeys, which I don't worry about helicopters. Um Vehicles, no vehicles, low crawl normal oh, okay, just not I thought there was more on there. It's alright. Um, alright. No, no, it's now it's my turn. Here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get... Get this bar. Yeah, we'll move him. So I know you left click on a unit, and then... If I wanted to... I like to first stack, I should say. Left click for a stack in the hex. If I want to click someone else, I right click, and then I select some. Otherwise, if I left click, obviously it'll just move there. So let's go ahead and get this with this bar. Move him up here. Ender impulse. Let's have him post up in this building. Now there's a way to see. Here it is. Is that it? Terrain? Mouse overtakes a second. Toggle terrain info on and off. Okay, so. Well, I assume. It's a building, so I assume it provides some sort of defensive modifiers. See if you can look in the top left of the screen. It's got all these stats there. It said stuff where I don't. I mean, I don't understand. Blocking target modifier plus four. Um, I assume it just helps with defense. Anyway, let's end the impulse. Them out. You can see the Germans. Oh, here they come! More of them. That's another another half squad there. Enter. Well, I like obviously the machine gun stuck here. Well, that's stuck, but he's where he's deployed. I like the bar right here, B A R. So should we get our leader? What should we do with him? Should we sit pass? Yeah, let's pass for a second. Let's see what these Germans start doing. That's one. Oh, stacking up over here. Pass again. Kind of feel like we're in a defensive position because remember. Oh! Not gonna fire at him. Isn't there like opportunity fire? Oh, maybe because he, mo he moved too far. Oh, that's why. Bummer. That's okay though. That's okay. Um, Alright, so. But anyway, so if you remember, it's uh, the exit at, and it says up here, the exit at H8, Henry 8, which. Hex Henry 8 is down here, so they gotta come right through my guys. So good defensive thing. I know some. Uh, I was watching the OG um, original Grognard. I don't know his real name. My apologies. Um, for, I believe he works for Lockmore Publishing. He's on all their streams and everything. He was saying, you know, hey, with the computer, 
It's just better to play in the offensive against computers and defensive, but you can do it either way. I mean, have some fun with it, right? So, especially learning. All right, let's pass again. Oh, they're stacked up. I mean, I guess I'll just hang out here. Ugh. We'll see if this may be a mistake. I don't know. Pass again. And I'm being very passive. Okay, pass then. So we'll end turn one here. All right, so let's see what happens. Germans have initiative. Nothing. No need to rally. Not with these shaking or anything. Um, so continue through the rally into the operations phase. Oh, there we go. Yep. Let's see, this is where it's going to be. Okay. So let's go ahead and do. Yeah. So these guys are op fire right here. Their BAR is going to op fire on this guy. 90.7% chance of effect. Direct fire. Alright, cool. Let's do it. Oh, oh this one. Alright, 10 versus 4. Boom. Nice. And then you can see on the bottom right. Attacker rolls 4 plus 6. 10. Defender rolls 4 plus 0. Round results of casualties. Alright, so it's shaken. Flipped over and shaken. Very cool. Alright. Oh. I should have actually didn't move him up to this building earlier when they started coming over here. That's all right. Pass one. Should I wait? Should I shoot? I guess shoot. Right? Yeah. Let's op fire with the machine gun, right? Shaking. Shaking. Casualties. Casualties, sweet. Doing work, son. Look at that stack. Look at that. Shaking, shaking. And I believe they're flipped over for casualties. Reduced, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's pass again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Melee. Defender, 3 to 1. So I think I have a good chance here. Odd three to one. Roll five plus. Well, I don't know, maybe not. Roll five plus. Eighty-three point three percent chance of success. I don't know if that's my success chance or theirs. That's All right. Well, looks like let's see. No effect. No effect. <laughs> so we're chilling in the same. Look, like we're all just chilling in the same building. My American units and then the Germans right here. That's sweet. All right. Can I shoot him? I have to melee him. All right. Let's See if we can do that. Let's send in our leader, Corporal Medro, and this full squad. Oh, Chima, I don't know if you guys can see that. Chima unlock. We brought friends. Reinforce an ongoing melee. All right. I guess that's it. I, guess I thought there'd be another attack. I guess that's not how it works. Okay. End impulse. Um. Oh, I guess maybe this is the melee like resolves later. Oh well. Let's pass. They're at more as well. That's alright. Pass again. Pass again. Pass an end. Alright, I have the initiative. Rally. I have no no need for anyone to rally. Oh, maybe I do. Hang on. Yeah, no. That's pretty good. Perfect. Continue. They're rallying. Failure. Failure. Ah, good for me. All right. So, what can I hear is, is can I? How does that work? Is, anyway. Yeah. Let's just do. I don't know if this will do anything. So see. So we're locked in this melee. Um, which is a little knife button here. It says continue an ongoing melee in the hex with the units already present. So I can do that. Got him. We did work, son. Um, if looking at the bottom right, you can see kind of the. Oops. There we go. Um, eliminated. No effect. But. Looks like I eliminated both of them. Cool. Good job, guys. Alright, let's end our impulse, son. It will op fire. 
six versus two. No effect. Well, wounded, shaken. <laughs> Casualties. Yeah! Didn't work, son. Pass. Pass and end. Right, initiative won by Americans. That's me. Rally. Um, I don't think there's a rally for me. Again, none of my guys are shaking or anything, so yep. Let's continue through. They rally. Failure to rally. Success. Again, mentioned it a few times. Bottom right has, looks like the, you know, all the stuff has been followed through. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So, let's, hex. let's go ahead and just fire on these guys. 11 to 3. Wounded. Wounded. Casualties. Nice. Alright. And for impulse. 5.2% chance. Uh, I guess. I'll start fire. Yeah, I don't think so. 6 versus 5. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Yeah, no effect morale. In. Okay. Pass. Pass and end. Final turn. Germans get initiative. Attempting to rally. Maybe it does rally. It's a sergeant with the <laughs> MG34. Alright, let's see what he does. This is a Hollywood movie. I think the sergeant might have a chance, but the game here, I don't think so. Shoot at him here. Shoot at him. Failure. Oh, fail the spot because he's hidden in here, right? Yeah. Alright. Target must be spotted first, and you have already made a spotting attempt. Okay, I see. Victory, Americans! <laughs> what just happened? He passed. He passed the operations phase. He said, never mind. Even the computer knew it was hopeless. Alright, well that is rejoining the regiment uh, scenario from Lock and Load Tactical Digital. As I fumbled along, this was only a 17-minute video. The actual scenario took me, what, 14 minutes? Because it was the first three minutes of Gavin. Uh, victory for me. Um, cool, it wasn't that difficult, especially as a defender in that scenario. Um, I think that the defenders had a big advantage, even though it looked like, looked like the attacker had more units. Maybe. I don't know exactly. Again, I'm not intimately familiar with these scenarios or lock mode tactical at all. But I like it so far. I like the game a lot. Um, it's at 58 minutes played. Now they've added another 14, so I'm over an hour now. I'm basically a pro, pro gamer at lock mode tactical digital, so I have no idea how to, what the rules are. As you saw, as I'm looking at different things, and I'm like, I don't know what this means. So, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more of this game in action, me doing these recordings, please let me know. You know, thumbs up, subscribe. So let me know. Put a comment below. You don't have to do either of those if you don't want to. Just put a comment and say, hey, you know, I liked it, or hey, uh, go back to you know, paper war games. What's this digital crap? So, but I look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, for now, take care.